Let's say that we have this force acting on the particle as shown. This force is 150 pounds acting, it looks like, to the upper left. Let's say that we wanted to find the components of this force along line A and line B. The angle line A makes with the force is angle alpha, and the angle line B makes with the line A is 54 degrees. We want to find two things here. First, the value of angle alpha, and second, the component of our 150 pound force acting along line B, if we already know that the component along line A has a magnitude of 100 pounds. In other words, we want to find this component which acts along line B, knowing that this component here is 100 pounds. And do note that none of this is to scale. We'll be using a trigonometric approach to solve this problem. Well, to start off, we can begin by redrawing the single vector of 150 pounds. If we already know that the component of this force acts along line A and is 100 pounds, we can draw that like so. We also know that this angle here is alpha. Now, we can draw in the arrow for the component force acting along line B using the tail to tip method we've been using. Notice that when I add the arrow of the component acting along line B to the tip of A, the head of arrow B ends up where the head of the resultant 150 pound force vector is at. Now, I know that the angle of arrow B makes with the horizontal line is 54 degrees, so I can add that here. We know that the interior angles of a triangle need to add up to 180 degrees. So, this angle here, which I will call delta, is simply 180 degrees minus 54 degrees minus alpha, which simplifi simplifies to 126 degrees minus alpha. I'm going to call our unknown side here B. Let's use the law of sines to first figure out what angle alpha is going to be. I can write that the sine of delta divided by 100 pounds is equal to the sine of 54 degrees divided by 150 pounds. We actually have an expression for delta, so I'll substitute that here. Our delta angle is really just 100 and 126 degrees minus whatever the value of angle alpha is. Now, if we solve this equation now, we find out that angle alpha is equal to 93.4 degrees. Now, since we know that angle alpha, or since we know what angle alpha is, we can use the law of sines once more to find out what the component of the 150 pound force is acting along line B. I'll now write that the sine of angle alpha, which here is 93.4 degrees, divided by side B is equal to the sine of 54 degrees divided by 150 pounds. And really, you could have just used the angle delta and the 100 pounds instead of the 150 pounds and 54 degrees. When we solve for side B, we find that the component of the 150 pound force acting along line B is 185.1 pounds.